Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to a Brahmin loose on the strip being chased by the NCR. Because that's a thing that happens. I have never seen that. I'm well done, game. You still surprise me after all these years. Anyway, welcome to the strip. Specifically, the Ultra Lux. And if you know New Vegas, you know what quest we're doing right now. Welcome to the Ultralux, the uh, swankiest of all the casinos. Now, first things first, hey let's there. talk to this l lovely young man. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? You could be describing any number of people. No, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Uh, so you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. <laughs> uh, so you lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Um, let me help find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Okay, right, so... I'll I'm, be here. Of course you will. I'm going to drop a save there because at this point, this quest can go any of, I think, like four different ways. Uh, one of the ways is kill everyone. I'm not going to do that one because that one's quite boring. Um, but first, let's go and meet one of the owners of the Ultralux. Yeah, it's not the one you thought, you was it? Okay, hello, Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Um, do you work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Looking for someone who went missing here recently? This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. Okay, so the White Glove side used to eat human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. Um, so who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Um, are we, we're investigating someone else. A man just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? 
I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Oh, I suggest you Whether do. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Um... Anyway, I could talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Okay, and that's all I really wanted from you. There is, um... I'm mm, I'm not sure I can actually I don't I don't don't know if I've got the strip reputation um to get into the white gloves attire society I might do Ah oh, hi Good Mortimer day. How may I be of service madam Um uh, What can you tell me about your organization My such a popular question I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course, but our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes, and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. Mm, that's what the White Glove Society no. is all about. Okay. I heard your group dines on human flesh. Ah, yes. I've heard that one too. Jealous people say such nasty things. I feel sorry for them. Uh... The I know what it is to feel the craving. How can I support your cause? Good. And you know what it is to be discreet in matters of nutrition. It's a lovely euphemism. Perhaps you can nutrition. help me. I'm in a bind. I've been planning an exquisite society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. Um... Let's talk about something else. At least the problem now, cannibal. Yeah, that's basically... I'm going to kill every one of you. Main course is a person? Yes, the wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir to a mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal, corn-fed and well-to-do. But no one to miss him if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed, and as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. Uh, what did you do? I asked for a last-minute replacement, and they stole the son of the most dangerous Brahmin baron in New Vegas while he stayed at this very hotel. Needless to say, this could be a disaster if things aren't put back the way they should be, and I still need somebody reputable to serve for dinner. Strictly speaking, we're no longer allowed to eat people. But I'm hoping the right person and preparation might sway Marjorie to see things my way. Tell me what I need to do. I need a replacement. And I need the boy taken care of. The replacement must be healthy and well-bred. One can't very well make steak from gristle. With so little time, we'll have to go after our original choice, Carlisle St. Clair. He lives in a shack north of here. For freshness, we need him alive. If you could send him here or knock him out with this and drag him into the dumpster next to his house, we can do the rest. Um, wouldn't put St. Clair's body into a dumpster give it a terrible taste? Not this one. Empty. I don't believe it's seen use since before the war. And what would the point be, really? Who would pick up his trash if he used it? But for our purposes... It should keep his body safe and hidden until my cohorts can recover it. What about the boy you kidnapped? Ted Gunderson is his name. It would be simplest if we could convince him this was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. But if he won't listen, we can't very well let him go. He'll have to be slaughtered and served. Then we wouldn't need the replacement. But you would need to deal with his father, heck. Perhaps if you could smear some of Ted's blood around his father's hotel room, you could frame him. Couldn't Heck just claim intruders killed his son? No. Everyone he meets, he tells the same story. 
that his son disappeared from the casino, not from his room. He'll look guilty. I'll do the job you've proposed. Splendid, splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you access to him. The Elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he surrounded it with booby traps. Okay. Indeed. So now I've got the key and the freezer key and all the stuff. Right. So, let's have a look at the quest because I might have to go back and do different bits depending on which one I want. Talk to Ted Gunderson who's being held in the room beneath the gourmand. Okay, so, the gourmand. Actually, Marjorie. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. Yes, yes. Um, can I join? No, it's fine. Okay, so here we are at the Gourmand, and now we can just make our way down here. Yep, yeah, because we've got the key. Alright, so I am now going to drop a quick save. Alright, so tenderizing the meat. Lovely charbroiled. Uh, the torching is Philippe's idea. It's Philippe's idea, right, okay, so that's the kitchen. But we're gonna go down, and as soon as we get down here, someone is gonna have a chat with me saying, woo, 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 woo. here you are. You, what do you think you're doing? Um, I could lie and do repair. Mortimer wants to release the kid if he'll cooperate. I'm the negotiator. Hmm, yes. He was none too pleased when he discovered who he took. The boy is in the freezer, back through the kitchen. Okay, so off to the freezer. Here we go, in the kitchen, the freezer key. And we're going to start this by Nobody... talking to Ted. My daddy's going to kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. Oh, uh, okay, calm down. I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it, I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. Um, your dad's powerful. Someone, want, someone wants him to feud with the White Glove Society. My daddy's got a lot of enemies. It don't make no sense that the White Pants Society would kidnap me. He's here to do business with them. Well, you got a point. But if you don't know who it is, my daddy's gonna be awful mad he ain't got anyone to shoot over this. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, and then let's go take him back to his puppy. Well, hello... Mr. Gunderson. Yeah, you gonna talk? Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Yeah, you gonna... You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Okay. I don't know who, who took him. I just found him. Confound it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to sleep knowing whoever done this got away. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. And I'm liked. Ooh, that might be enough to get me into the White Glove Society. Well, now I have to find a suitable replacement. Ah, hello, Veronica. I think we should travel together. Let's go make trouble. Yeah, let's, uh, let's See go make trouble. Ah, here we are in the kitchen. It's a pantry. Ah, there's the freezer. Uh, Veronica, would you mind coming in here? I think you should probably wait here for a minute. Should have brought something to read. Yeah, you should have, like, like lots of something. Okay. Engage the lock. Right. Let's go speak to Mortimer. Hey, Morty. Any word as to our arrangement? Not, not yet. I see. Hang on, what? Indeed. Hang on, has the quest bugged? Return to Mortimer in the Ultralux. Ah. It's, you're not even touching it, you're just looking at it. Any word as to our arrangement? I see. Uh -huh. 
Indeed. Let me go see if the quest is just officially bugged. Let's try Any this. Any word as to our arrangement? Not yet. Okay. I see. Apparently that's Indeed. bugged out. But generally you can just uh, leave one of your companions in the, uh, in, in the chiller. And they'll kill them for you. Okay, but since it's bugged out, I guess we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. All right, so come speak to me. Hello, Usually Kyle Sinclair. Keep your distance. Who are you and what do you want? Um, right, let's go through the options here. Um, let's, let's start with Black Widow. I want your naked body stud. Go into the dumpster and I'll meet you there after I change. The dumpster? That's filthy. I can't tell you how much that turns me on. It takes me back to my youth when I used to fool around with the help at our estate. I shouldn't, but uh, it's been so long. And when is this ever going to happen to me again? Okay, you're on. Don't keep me waiting, gorgeous. And he will just go around to the dumpster and get in himself. But that's not the way we're going to do it. All right, so we're back here. This time... Keep distance. Who are yeah, you yeah, you yeah, want? yeah. Um, I'm go I've got guns 45, so look out behind you. Let's pistol whip him. Are they back? Okay, look at it and press Z. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Da 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 da. Yeah, this is this bit slow, and ugh. Hang on, we need to drop him for a second. Stash the body. Easy. There we go. I'm not going to do it that way either. All right. I'm just here. You keep tilting your head to one side. Is your neck okay? Uh, it's been stiff lately. Since I was attacked, I've been afraid to sleep in my bed. I know. It's irrational. Now I can't hardly sleep at all. I just nod off from time to time. I'm so tired. Um... I could get that out for you. Apply a sleep hold. Try breathing deeply three times and blowing on your thumb. Don't know anything like this. Um, try deep breathing deeply three times and blowing on your thumb. Really? Is that some kind of ancient Chinese secret or something? Well, what the hell. I'll try anything once. Here goes. I don't know what that's supposed to do, but yeah, not doing it that way either. Hey, man, I'm just here to talk. Yeah, what about? Oh, you don't seem like you fit in here. That obvious, huh? Yeah, I'm not from around here. But where I'm from, they don't want me, so that's just as well. Really, with my reputation, there aren't many places I can go that'll have me. My own family's blackballed me, and they got a lot of clout. Oh, joining the White Glove Society could clear your name. They're respected. I've heard of them. Ultralux, right? Yeah, that'd be a step in the right direction. <laughs> They'd never have me, though. Talk to a man named Mortimer. He's looking for a few big, uh, some big name new members. Yeah? Okay, maybe I will. Hell, anything's better than this. Thanks. And he goes and delivers himself to Mortimer. So you just talk him round and off he goes. Why, hello, Any Mortimer. Any words to our arrangement? Yeah, I sent Sir Carl. I sent Ky Carlisle St. Clair to come and speak with you. Of his own volition. My goodness, you are very professional, aren't you? Well, he's sure to be a hit at our next banquet. You have done very well in keeping this business low key. I appreciate your discretion. I'll be sure to drop your name during our functions. I hope you understand what a tremendous boon this will be to your standing in society. Okay. Right. And so that's one way to do it. That's actually a couple of ways to do it. However, we could go kill the boy and frame his dad. All right, so unlock the door. Prim wimped out. And Ted My Gunderson. Kill all yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make sure you don't have to tell the him. Hell you Over here. Oh, where is he? Oh, vats. Can I get him? I can. Ooh, teleportation. I should have just snuck up on him and slit his throat. Because he might actually get out. Come out of here. I'm chasing you. Are you just running? Help! 
There we go. And he's down. Right. I failed feeble will. <laughs> oh well. That's not a problem. Collect samples of Ted's corpse for use in frame... Oh, forgotten about that. Let's well, give him his blood. All right then. And here we are at the penthouse. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I can't remember if he's... Ooh! Over here. I'd forgotten that you guys were here. Like that? No, I didn't like that at all. I should probably reload and find a weapon before I go anywhere. Right, there are no weapons here whatsoever. Oh, there might be something in the suitcase. No. Wish I had some holdout weapons. You like oh, that? you know what? Fine, I'm just doing it this way. Yeah? I, I can ouch. Oh, my. Yeah, fine, we're doing it this way. Had enough. Not really. You're worse hurt than I am. Ooh, cattle prod, though. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? Right. Give me a weapon. Right. Really? Caravan shotgun. Fine. I will take it. Yeah, okay. This just this is going to take a while. Had enough? Yeah, I've had enough. Okay, let's go spread some blood samples about. Okay. Oh, distribute the blood samples on the queen size bed. Anywhere else? Um, bathtub? No, I'm not sure where to do them, to be honest, but we'll see. Oh, in the sink. Oh, right. Yeah, my handprint on there. Okay, let's go speak to the Securitron. Well, hello there, Mr. Securitron. Greetings, citizen. Greetings. I uh, heard sound of, struggle, sound of struggle in the Ultralux penthouse. You've done the right thing, citizen. Reporting struggles, scuffles, and tussles is the civic duty of every man, woman, and child. Thanks to you, we can all sleep in our beds a little sounder, knowing that swift justice awaits those who take moral shortcuts for personal gain. Rest assured, I will apprehend the perpetrator and see him or her punished, even though in some ways, evil is its own punishment. Okay. Let's go inside. Dun, dun, dun. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Right, sure. Mm -hmm. Please. Bye. I want to listen. No, I don't care. Just go away. Ted Gunderson, you're under arrest for the murder of Ted Gunderson. What in blazes? That's my son you're talking about. He ain't dead. I'm looking for him. It is my duty to inform you that murder is a serious crime. As a murderer, you should be feeling emotions such as guilt, sorrow, and shame. If not, you may wish to consult a mental health professional. Where's my son? What'd you do with my boy? I hope this experience has taught you an important lesson about the value of human life. You can't do this to me! This is a mistake! Dead or alive! You're coming with me. The hell I will. Stand, Stand back, citizens. Deceased bodies are a known source of illness and a potential tripping hazard. Well then, let's go speak to Mortimer, see what he's got to say on this instance. Hi. Any word as to our arrangement? I framed Heck and sent a Securitron to arrest him. So the Baron has slaughtered his last Brahmin. How delightful. He was a pox on our business. He would have driven the price of beef down to the point where any poor wretch could afford it. Can you imagine? But now we can price it even higher. Create a new luxury market. Not for you, of course. You'll get a special discount. Okay. Well, I don't like... Stranger every day. 
I don't like being not able to have beef for cheap every day. No, 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 this just won't do. I must side against Mortimer. All right, Mortimer, this time I'm going to lie and say I'll do it. Where can I find Ted Gunderson? Splendid, splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you access to him. The elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful. And yeah, okay. All right, toodles. Okay, so. Fingers crossed. Hey. Um, I should... No, it's this way, isn't it? I should be able to do everything I need to do. All right, let's speak to you about the investigator. How may I be of... Marjorie said you gave a free room to a private investigator. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Uh, actually, I need, just need to speak with him. Of course, of course. Now, ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think, given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. Okay. Indeed. Right. Let's go into the investigator's room. I think this is his room. Oh my goodness. Search Crusoe. Matchbook. And I just had a wild waste lamp egg. Oh, hello. I brought a switchblade just for this. Uh, just going to have to kill you a lot, I think. Yeah, yeah, you keep hitting me. It's fine. I'm just going to... Oh, seriously, this is not working as well as I hoped it had. Never mind. I'm just going to kill these guys. And, and at the end, hopefully... I mean, you're even worse than... The... Well, actually, no. The people with shotguns are even worse than you. You're doing quite well, to be fair. Oh, I, I actually need to stim pack it up. There we go. Oh, look, I'm back to full health. It sucks to be you, you doesn't that? it? There we go. However, I'm going to take... I'm going to take your... Glove and mask and put this away. Okay, let's have a look at the matchbook. Uh, miscellaneous matchbook. Steam room, 4pm. Let's go to the steam rooms. Alright, so steam room, 4pm. It's just about 4pm. Hello, Chauncey. Who are you? Uh, looking for someone who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? Oh, he's dead. Oh, my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. So Mortimer is behind the disappearances, despite the fact he told me so blatantly. Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months, but always from freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. What about, what were we supposed to discuss here? The girl, the one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. How'd you know what happened to the girl? Because I distracted her fiancé while they took her. Well, I'm not proud of it, but I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. And what about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. They're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. 
Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. So, wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Anything you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Okay. Any suggestions how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... What if his revelation were a lie? What Intriguing. if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Okay. Get rid of Philippe and cook the banquet using his recipes for human flesh. Drug the wine at the White Gloves Society Let's plan on banquet. meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? Were you followed? Oh, is it them again? Did you just shoot him? Oh, for the love of Pete. You're a shitty assassin. I've got like a pocket knife and you're wearing armor. I'm taking your gun though. Well... Hmm. I guess I could wear the formal wear now. Um, apparel. White Glove Society, White Glove Society mask. Okay, now. Ooh, look at me. I'm posh and fancy and stuff. Ooh. Okay, let's go speak to Marjorie. Evening. All right, would you be considering... Welcome to the Ultra Lux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want to join the White Glove Society. I was told I'd need a sponsor. Why, yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. Perhaps the entire world. And you're not questioning why it's I'm It's only in natural your that you need a sponsor from within the club who can vouch for your good name. Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone who's anyone. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. Oh, naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. Look at my outfit. And the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists. We want only the very best. And you most certainly fit the bill. Given your deeds on the strip alone, I can safely say that you would be a prized addition to our honorary ranks. You have my full support, and you are welcome to join us at our nightly banquets in our special section of the Gourmand. I hope to see you there. Okay, goodbye. Now I can wander around Ta -ta. freely. What actually is the time? Uh, uh, it's now five o'clock. I'm actually going to wait so I can um, do this at the appropriate timings. This time, Mortimer sent me to move the kid. I think one of his own might betray him. Um, this is a lie. First he's too trusting, now he doesn't trust any of us. It addles the senses. I suppose caution is the desirable course at this point. It's all of our necks if something goes... Yeah, yeah. I get it. 
could kill you too. However, right, now I need to go and speak to Philippe. Do a quick save. Not in the kitchen. Is he? Yes, yes he is. Hi! Greeting. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. I think you may have me confused with someone else. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server? Um, I could. I'm here to talk business. Interested in putting down a cookbook? What, me? The supreme ruler of the Nevada dining scene? Teach some low-life half-wits how to make food that doesn't smell like burning excrement? Do you think it would sell? <laughs> um, yes, we're a major publisher, but as a sign of good faith, I'll need recipes. You're pushing your luck. Here, I have a few copies on me. This better be good enough. We're going to have a real problem if this thing isn't a hit. Uh-huh. Um, your predisposition towards anger suggests unresolved issues in your past, you know. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. But did they, though? You may be projecting. Tell me more about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or I do because now. my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. But what about the banquet? Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Bye! Actually. Leave me alone. Haven't you done it? Um, I'm an honorary member of the White Gulf Society. Well, what do you want? I'm very busy here. I think I saw a rad roach in the pantry. You should check it out. No, it'll ruin my ingredients. If you didn't get manage to get him rid of one, rid of him one way, you managed to get rid of him the other way. Right. So, cook, cook, cook human imitation human human fresh using recipe. Um, let's uh. Which one is the freezer before I forget? It's this one. Okay. Right. Um, if I call now. How may I? Time to serve the meal. Okay, cool. Apparently that that counts. I can just watch him. Hopefully. There he is. Come over. Get the imitation human flesh. Right, and off he goes now. Right, Ted. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. Calm down, I've come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it, I almost died in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, some, some members of the White Gloves of Society, they were gonna eat you. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm out of here, and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no white hat society no more. Well, white glove society isn't to blame, just Mortimer and a few others. To hell with that. You've seen those freaks. They dress the same, talk the same. You can bet they all eat the same, too. They deserve what my daddy's gonna have coming for them. Ah, uh, I could always leave you here if you aren't gonna listen. All right, all right. But there's going to be some justice one way or another. I'll see to that. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. Right. If you wouldn't mind hiding, because we don't want to be seen. Despite the fact that... Oh, is that the guy? Let's just go. I think he doesn't see me. Or at least he does see me, but he does not care. Because I'm supposed... Oh, there we go. Don't need to worry about it. Right, let's get out of here. Directly behind these guys who don't pay attention. 
and hopefully the meal should be oh do I need to wait may have screwed this up it is possible let's just wait oh yeah I'm gonna I think I screwed this up because I didn't call him at the appropriate time that's a distinct possibility okay uh what's the time i've got to get it oh two three four five six seven it's probably not enough time Oh, just wait one hour. And hopefully... Ah, oh, I screwed it up. Definitely screwed it up. Okay, I know what happened this time. Um... How may I ask? But no... Oh, okay, I'll... right, fine, we'll wait. Um, yes. So what I actually did is I actually went the wrong way. Instead of going that way, you go that way. Um, it might screw up. Completely my bad. It's fine. Um, let's check the... Okay, we've got like 10 seconds to go. I should probably just open up the freezer. We'll do it in a minute. Ooh, whiskey. No, 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 no. Now... How may I? But oh, for the love of Pete, how long does it take? Ugh. Okay, now. How may I? Serve it. Right. Crouch. Wait till he's taken it. Come on, doing this again for posterity. Yeah, here he comes. Bloody Paul Q. And off he goes. Right. Same thing again. All right. Second opportunity for escape attempt. He's off. Keep behind him. Still hidden. Just very quietly. Whilst he goes up and he serves it to everyone. Just don't get seen. That's all I'm saying. Well, like that. Don't do that. All right, let's try that again, but at a more sedate pace. God, I screwed this one up a lot. I actually think he's gone. Now that's to the kitchen. I think this one is to the members only area. Yeah, I think he's actually gone. Right, now we're going to stay hidden behind the bar I know right I'm in front of us. I'm not a speaker, but I have a few words, if I may. There was a time not so long ago when we were bound together not as members, but as family, as a clan. And when Mr. House came to us with his proposal, we accepted, knowing we stood to gain much. Little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. As a society, we've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. But we are living a lie. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted That's it. That's you. All of you have coveted it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our people. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. 
Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. Okay, I think that's my cue. Hi! What the? Who is this trespasser? Bad news, Mortimer. No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. What are you... Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe. Isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. That's not how kidnapping works. I'm sorry. Too late, Mortimer. You already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. Bye, Mortimer. Tell Yes Man you fix the <laughs> fix their cannibalism problem. I'm still dressed as a member of the Where's Marjorie? Greetings. Hi! No. Marjorie. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. And in front of all these people, too. He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating people. And now this. I should have paid more attention to the warning signs. Can you imagine what people would have said? Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. Okay, goodbye. I've now got White Glove Society. I'm idolised by the White Glove Society. I think that's the, actually the only way that you can get idolised. I should probably turn into my... Oh... My rebreather and... Recon armour. And beret. Because those are awesome. Yeah, you didn't too good, did ya? Didn't bounce him too well, did ya? There he goes. Bye, Mortimer. I'm just gonna take Heck to his dad. I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. They don't really have best men. Oh, they do, I suppose. Right, so. Heck. Here comes your kid. Slow oh as ever. Oh my god. Ted, are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Okay. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Thank you. Here's now, money. I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Um. It was Mortimer, one of the white gloves who had Ted taken. He's a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Heck Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. Whoa, it's Nelly. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. That's just what they'd want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it. It's flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. Yeah. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. Excellent. And level up. Uh, well, let's slam barter up to 100 because it's there. Um... 12 skill points. I'm going to put them in medicine. There we go. Continue. all oh, and to get a perk. Any good perks for level 36? Broad daylight. Sneak even with your pit bite light on. Anytime the pit bite light on is you gain a sneak bonus to offset the sneak's light penalty. Okay. Uh, and that's basically it. Oh, you know what? Grim Reaper's sprint might actually be pretty good yeah i'm gonna go for grim reaper's sprint it's fine okay and on that note i've been zombie cleo this has been beyond the beef in fallout new vegas class dismissed